Welcome to Cooking with Scum. I am your chef for today. You will refer to me as Chef Scoofius Poofius in the comment section. I know a lot of you think, oh, haha, big jokes, funny man. Not today, fellas. Today, we will be learning the art and craft of cooking, a valuable life lesson that needs to be taught. And fellas, today, I'm gonna be making the scuffed burger. Now you've seen Mr. Beast Burger, you've, you've tried it. Yeah, okay, it's mid, it's not good, right? It's not good, it's eh, eh. By the time we're done making this burger, Mr. Beast himself will be in my inbox contacting me to get that burger on his menu. Feel free to follow along with me at home, fellas, because this isn't an easy task. We're not just whipping up any old burger here, no, ha <laughs> no. We're making a scuffed burger. Now, first things first, hygiene is a must. You want to disinfect your hands before working with any kind of meats. I don't have any hand sanitizer on deck, but I do have nature sanitizer. <laughs> so you want to rub your hands nice and get them all over, get them in the crevices in between the fingers. Just get it nice and sanitized, because we're going to be touching meat, boys. And I'm not talking about that meat, fellas. You sick fuck. You sick fuck. But before we move on, today's video is sponsored by these nuts, fellas. You better click that damn sub button. You better touch it like no tomorrow. Also, please, please leave a like. I, I really need it. We're going to see what kind of meat we're working with, because you can't just work with any meat. You need the good good. You need that... That Wagyu meat, you can't just take any old cut of meat and make it into a good scuffed burger. Hello meat, 90% lean, 10% fat. We don't want no fat cows. Our cows are walking around, fuck this fuck, fellas. You gotta be gentle with this meat. You don't wanna just, you know, toss it all over the place. Like, so, oh shit. As I was saying, you don't wanna just toss your meat everywhere. You gotta be gentle. This meat is tenderized already, but we're gonna need to tender it ourselves. We're gonna need to extra tenderize it, mind you. Punch him, right? <sighs> All right, fellas, we gotta tenderize. It's good. I did disinfect my hands using nature's goodness, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna put some gloves on. Uh, these are some some top of the line cooking gloves that I stole from a facility before recording this video. All right, you know what? We don't even need the other glove. We're going one glove. One glove, this is gonna be our mixing hand. One hand it, cause I'm a professional chef. As you can tell by the attire. So go ahead, get, get stuff one of these. Nice little tin, tin thingy, I, I don't know. Unbox the meat, but we got it tender, so you gotta be careful with it. Why is it brown though? Eh, this is sickening. Do people really cook like this? Now it's time for my favorite part, the mixing. See, you wanna take your mixing hand and just, oh, uh, just grab it like this to see the meat through your fingertips. All right, we keep, you want to keep on doing that until you get it nice and nice and uh, nice and nice and what now? Uh. Now it's time for the seasoning, fellas. That is the best part. You wanna you wanna be very selective with the seasoning. We're gonna add a little paprika. Yeah, nice, nice garlic powder. This, this is some good stuff. It's some good stuff, fellas. Just, oh, no, that's too much. Now we add my, my personal favorite right here, the black pepper. Why is it coming out? Oh, uh, it's not even open. Be very careful. You don't want too much of this. Oh, onion powder. Right here, you, need some, you always need onion powder in your burgers, or else it's gonna taste very bad. We're forgetting the salt. You can't forget the salt. Never go too much. You could scuff up, ruin the entire scuff burger like this, fellas. Oh, don't go too much. Ah, that's enough. That's good. Scott, that's just a normal burger. How is this scuff burger different than the rest of them? This is where you get the secret stuff. Don't make sure not to tell anyone. This stuff is equivalent to the Krabby Patty formula. What's the best thing to add to another burger, you might say? A burger! <laughs> Mix your burger. Make sure the meat absorbs it, fellas. Look at that. Look at that. That's looking good. That's a burger right there. Oh, shit. Now, what else might be added to this burger to spice it up? A day-old pizza. It's even bitten. Now, I don't think we're going to add the whole pizza. Be spare with it. Be sp break it up sparingly. Three mozzarella sticks. You break them up. Break them up quick. Look at that. Just keep mixing it. Oh, it smells. Ugh. Ah. Oh, it smells yummy, yum, yum. We got our stuff. This is good enough. I would add more. But right now, this is good. This is a good scuff burger. Now 
it's time to form it into the beef patés. Would you not eat this? I'm, 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 I ate it, guys. Oh, I'm stuck. Now we want to smush it like a smash burger. <laughs> eh, look at that. It's time for the cooking. Now, normally I would never grill indoors just because it's dangerous, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna be grilling indoors. Oh, look at that, fellas. See that? That's a good burger. You know a burger is good when you can flap it around. So apparently a light earthquake hit and I accidentally dropped my burger. We're not gonna preheat this grill or nothing. We're just gonna drop it, smush it a little bit, get a nice little smash on it. Now, this is the crucial step. Make sure you put it on the picture of the steak. Now we turn on the grill. All right, close the lid, make sure you secure the heat. You never wanna let the heat escape the grill. 11 minutes later. So careful guys, it's gonna get smoky. Unfortunately, it is still a little bit rare. It's unfortunate, you know, stuff like this happens. I think what the mistake was, I didn't preheat the grill. It's fine, we're gonna have to cook it through various other means. So I have the burger here with me, fellas. I present to you the Scott Burger Pate. Look at this. Look at how good that looks. What kind of burger competition would this be if I didn't put my work of art up against another creation of some sort? Here I have, fellas, the Whopper. It's, 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 it's hard. The bread is hard. Look at this. Look at this. A bunch of veggies you don't need. Ah, gross. Do I look like I eat veggies? It's not even real grill marks on here. This is synthetic. Let's get to building. We got our uh, we got our nice little scuff plate here. The nice brioche bread here. Look at this. This is artisan bread. I personally like cheese, so I add two slices to mine. Now you can add whatever you want. I'm not really feeling hot sauce today, but I am feeling some hot Cheetos. Ah, huh? you like these? Oh, shit. oh god, it's jizzing all over my burger. God, damn you, mayo! Come out already! I think I had a little bit too much mayo. Uh, eh. ketchup time, fellas. Now, oh, where's the ketchup? I guess we don't have any ketchup. I am all about my cheese, and I got some special cheese for us today. Cheese whiz, fellas. Yeah! Yeah! Come, are, are you gonna come out? Time to resort to other means. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, look at that. Slap that on there. Where'd the other bread go? We've lost our bread slice. Fellas! Oh, it's right here. Okay. I wasn't gonna do this, but it is only fair that I do heat this burger up. It's kind of stone cold. Doink, doink. Sound effect. So I have my microwave with me as a chef. You always bring your utensils. Ah, oh, sorry. I left my chicken in there from last night. I'm gonna take that out. I don't wanna have that in there. I am ready to prove my worth as a chef. Oh, it's done. Now it's time for the ultimate test. The taste test. I'm gonna spin around, I'm gonna spin this plate with me. And whichever one I grab first is gonna be the first burger. Go ahead and spin, close my eyes. I'm gonna grab a burger. The bun tastes kind of, uh, kind of good actually, a little bit sweet. Mmm. 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 That's nice. Oh, I'm going in for Chefins. Mm. Now for the next burger, I'm not sure what burger, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to re -watch the video. I'll just edit it in at the end. Ah, this one smells kind of musty. Oh God! Oh, why is it so hard? I think this is the Whopper. I think we overdid it in the microwave. Oh, jeez! There's a bad aftertaste with that one. <coughs> oh, no, no. Whichever burger that was, that was straight ass. Burger King, stop making burgers. Your burgers are ass. Well, fellas, now it's time to review the vid. If you enjoyed this video, fellas, make sure to leave a like. 300 likes, and I will cook a Wagyu steak next week. Also, buy merch. Merch coming soon, fellas. Insert design here, Rust. Oh, it's a little bit blurry. Hold on. Rust, insert design here. It's good, fellas. You're gonna like it. Shut up. I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> Scuff, you're not a real chef. Shut up! I tried! I tried to make this a good burger! I tried! I'm sorry! I'm sorry I couldn't do it! I'm not even a chef! This isn't even- I bought this hat on Amazon! Ugh.
To scarf, to scarf puppies.